Is Damian Leonard the best player in the bubble? The 2020 NBA season? Is he the best player right now? Handle life all black like I'm Batman. What's up, Handle Life subscribers? I'm your host, Johnny, aka Dribble Too Much, elite basketball skills trainer. I've worked with the Dallas Mavericks, Chris Paul, Anthony Davis, and more. Today, we're going to focus on Damian Leonard's step back and change of pace. Watch the video and tell me how you like it. Thank you. He's actually not going to use it. John Moran, the 2020. Now, that's cold. You come down with the left. Is Damian Leonard the best player in the bubble? The 2020 NBA season. Is he the best player right now? Let's bring this back. All right. The first move is the drop crossover. Then he does a cross step. Why you want to do a cross step? Because you want the defense to change direction and commit to you driving. Right. Once he commits to you driving, you can stop with the same foot while the defense is flying back. Right. Now, I don't know, this might be clean, it might be a push off. You see that off arm on Dame right here? Gotta watch out for that, right? You don't want the ref to call that on you. So then, once you get the same foot stop, you wanna create space and step back for a jumper. And that's what Dame loves to do, is that step back. Dame has a crazy step back. Out of Dame's and Dame Lillard and James Harden, whose step back is better? I love this move right here. Now, now, guys, I want you guys to see something. All Dame did on this play was just read the defense, right? So, first he gave it time, was patient. When he read the defense, he was reading the top foot of the defender. When you see that top foot, you jab at it to see what will the defense give me. If he drops that foot back, guess what? That means he could pull up for a jumper. But if he doesn't drop it back, what is your other counter option for you to do? I'm gonna let you guys answer that in the comments. I'll be checking and seeing who got the right answers. Okay, once you jab and shoot, you wanna square up right after your jab step so you can be balanced to pull up for another jumper. We're gonna watch this back a couple of times. Look at the defense right here. First of all, this is terrible defense. The, now, he wants to, a lot of NBA teams, what they like to do is force players baseline. They like to, this is called blue defense. If you're, if you coach in the NBA or you play in the NBA, these are kind of the terminologies that uh, NBA teams love to use. Um, this is called blue. When they blue you, that means they force you baseline and the big kind of traps you in the corner and it for forces your big to make plays, right? So he tried to blue him. What Dame did was read that top foot and jab at it. You see, once he jabbed at that top foot, he dropped it back. And guess what? That gave Dame just enough time to be able to shoot the basketball. Right? Look at his top foot on the defense. Look at it top foot right here what dame does jab at it see that drop back as soon as he dropped his top foot back dame pulled up at the same time all if you're a great shooter all you need is a little space to get your shot off now that's cold you come down with the left hand and pull up jumper wow i in the NBA, who has the best off the dribble three pointer? I would say out of Damon Steph, who you who you think shoots the ball off the dribble the best at the three point line? Dame's range has literally increased to half court. Now you gotta guard him at half court. He literally takes two steps across half court and shoots the ball now. That's crazy. Crazy range from Dame. Wow, I want you guys to see something before the play. Watch Dame before the play, talking to the ref before he gets the and one. You 
You see that? He warns the ref that he's being hacked, and then he pulls up and get an and one. That's just smart basketball. It's really important, man. The best players are always thinking ahead um, on the court, and they always have great communication skills, whether it's to the ref or to a teammate or whatever. There it goes again. Another step back three. I'm going to bring that one back. All right, look. When Dame comes off a of ball screen, you'll see this with a lot of NBA guards. When they come off a of ball screen, they switch hands to the opposite hand so they can confuse the big on what direction they want to go. See, Dame comes off this ball screen, switches to his left, then punches to the outside. And guess what he did again? The same foot step back. The same foot step back only works when you're really trying to bend the corner to get to the rim. And when the defense do not give you that lane to the rim, that's when you use that same foot step back. Boom. And it works almost every time. That's one of Dame's fa favorite moves. You're going to see this several times throughout the video. And different scenarios. change of pace you don't have to go fast all the time and there it goes again wow let's bring that back so he explodes off the screen first the first step is making sure that you use the screen and then you explode off the screen and then use your inside hand right after you use the screen so then he switches it to his inside hand why because let me tell you why the inside hand works because the big is usually trying to jump or trap the screen or he might be playing flat but when you're coming off a screen you're using your dominant hand whatever hand you're using at the moment then you switch to your inside hand to change directions on the person guarding the screen see here when that happens boom you actually shift the big man and he has to guard you if you're going to go to the basket or you're going to go to the rack and go bang 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 on somebody <laughs> they ain't about to put a poster on this dude so nasty take a picture take a picture let's go that's dame dollar right there when, when dame dollar come out it's a wrap hey man there's a lot of guards that dunk on people in the nba but who are the top five dunking point guards in the nba let me know in the comments, Handle Fam. So I want you guys to see. Okay. He switches the inside hand again. Act like he was going to the middle. And change direction. Again, when you use the screen, switch to your inside hand to make the big confused on which direction you're going to go. Wow, this is crazy. Look at that guy in the background. Who is the best guard of all time that using the ball screens? Again, you see that? Dame, again, using his inside hand after he uses the ball screen. I really want you guys to pay attention to what's going on here. Watch this. So Dame is really patient on waiting on the screen and then switches it to the inside hand again and then uses his off hand. Dame's layup package is starting to get very serious, man. If you can finish at all three levels, let's say the three-point line, the mid-range and layups, and use both hands. Look at this. Wait for the screen. When he uses the screen, he switches to the inside hand now that was a foul you could call that foul but you know sometimes you get away with it sometimes you don't and now look at this finish with the left hand a scoop shot finish with the left hand off the glass that's nasty dame lillard is probably one of the best finishing guards in the nba but i know kyrie irvin and stephen curry is up there john morant Ooh, look at that another Another move where he's using his left hand. On this move, 
I want y'all to look at this move. The reason why this works. Anybody, anybody out there know why this hezzy move worked? Why do you think this worked? Why? Answer right now before I play. This works because Dame Lillard will shoot the ball off the uh, uh, shoot the ball off the ball screen. So when the big is playing back like that, Dame usually comes off and shoot this thing. But the big thinks he's gonna shoot. All he does is lift his eyebrows and do a little hesitation. The big steps up and gets beat for a half a second. And then he shows the ball on the side of the rim and uses the other side of the rim. Cause why? Bigs like to block shots. But when I'm fake, when you're behind me and I'm faking on one side of the rim and I'm using the other side, you'll never block my shot. It's, the energy is crazy. Wow. I gotta tell you, man, Dang probably got the best heart for a team right now for 2020. He's kind of reminded me of Iverson leading the Sixers in the playoffs. Um, Iverson was dropping 50 to 62, man. Dame is just doing it so nasty. 60 points, man. What do you think about the beef with Dame and Paul George? What do you think about what Dame replied back and said? <laughs> that was crazy. You know what? After after uh, Paul George said that about Dame, that's when he started going off for 50 and 60. Put some respect on that man's name, please. All right, look. I want to show y'all this play. You guys tell me, is this a travel or not? All right, we're going to count the steps. Now, the NBA is famous for letting travels go. But look at this. Catch. One, two, three. Is that a travel? It might have been two steps. It might have been three steps. But let me know in the comments. All right. See Dame calling for the ball screen? He's actually not going to use it. He actually fakes the ball screen and does the same foot step back again. Boom. Calls for the ball screen again like he's going to use it and does a hard dribble sidestep. You know, we're going to have to break this down all the way. This is art watch the net please it's crazy all right the first step you do again slow down change pace right change speed change pace change pace basically means change your speed once you slow down you call for the ball screen act like you're gonna use it and reject it now the defense doesn't know what's going on he's just watching game Dame gives him a fake spin to attack the basket. Remember, the same foot stop works a lot when you're trying to bend the corner to get to the basket. Then he switches hands, switches directions, and now changes speed again. Look at the look at the fans behind Dame just watching this art. He looks at the screen again. This is total art, guys. And then he acts like he's gonna use it. Hard dribble sidestep. Now, he steps away from the defense and to the side that the defense is giving him. That's another way to read the defense and take whatever the defense gives you. This is amazing by Dame Lillard, all right? You can learn a lot from watching these kind of videos and apply it to your game. Or if you're just a big basketball fan and you love, you know, you love basketball. It's good for you to know what the players are thinking out there on the court. I work with some of the top players in the NBA. Once again, my name is Johnny Stephen, aka Dribble Too Much. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Like, comment, and share this video to someone else who loves basketball. And if, so, if somebody doesn't think Damian Lillard is the king right now, tell them, show them this video and say, put some respect on Dame name. Thank you guys. Love you. I'm out.